how long do mesenchymal stem cell treatments benefits last? And will I need repeat treatments? This is a really common group of questions that I get asked all the time, so let's get into it. Here at Dream Body Clinic, we use mesenchymal stem cells to heal a whole variety of different issues. We treat a lot of joint issues like elbows, knees, ankles. We treat a lot of autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, like ulcerative colitis, multiple sclerosis, and many others. And we treat a lot of organ-specific issues um, like heart failure, liver failure, kidney failure, and many other things. So this is just a sample of some of the things we do. But with all of those treatments, people are always curious, like, hey, am I gonna need a bunch of treatments? Is this an ongoing thing? Will this actually cure my issue? So look, it's very specific to what treatment we're doing, but overall, our goal with what we do is that we're hoping our treatments are a one and done type situation. We're hoping that if you come down for an autoimmune disease, we're gonna do a very high dose IV, typically about 1.4 million per pound of body weight, or higher, and we're hoping that that will reprogram your immune system to stop attacking and start protecting. And for most people, it works out that way. We're hoping the same thing if we're gonna try fixing your knee. Let's say you got a bunch of arthritis, we're hoping we do one treatment that regenerates the cartilage, gets your knee feeling perfect, and you're good to go. We're hoping that if you have an organ issue like heart failure and your ejection fraction is real low at say 30%, we're hoping we do an IV and we get that back up over 55%. That's the hope. And I would say it. most patients get the result they're looking for, but it depends how bad things are. So going back through that, let's say if you know your autoimmune disease has been just wreaking havoc on your body for decades, it might be a bit tougher and usually is in somebody that was recently diagnosed. We see this a lot with multiple sclerosis. Somebody that's had MS and is to a point after decades that they're wheelchair bound probably isn't gonna get healed with one treatment. It's probably gonna take a few and over a course of time where somebody who's been recently diagnosed, we have quite a few patients that are in full remission from one treatment. Same thing with knees. If you come to us with first degree or second degree arthritis, usually it's a one and done treatment. But if you're third or fourth degree, well, we might move you up a degree or two. We might get you from fourth degree or bone on bone to say third degree, or we might just get rid of the inflammation and it might not be till a follow-up treatment six months to a year later where we see some major improvement. Same with the heart. If you do the IV there and your ejection fraction is like at say 30%, which is pretty low, and it's been like that for like a decade, that's gonna be a lot tougher than somebody just recently got down there. So we're hoping it's one and done, but it's not always. The great part is any results you get last. This isn't like getting a cortisone shot for your knee where it just masks the pain, get masks the inflammation. No, the stem cells are gonna get in there, they're gonna seek out inflammation and they're gonna start healing the underlying cause of it. So a lot of times with damage, that is scar tissue. Your body tends to heal via fibrosis. The white blood cells rush in, they do a patch up job and your body can't get past that with its normal healing mechanisms with different growth factors and such. By getting the stem cells in there in concentration, they can start help guiding that removal of the fibrosis and then they can start regenerating the underlying tissue. And they do all of this via what's called the paracrine effect. It's the signals they send out that do the magic. They are like the managers on the construction site. They're not actually turning into other cell types like you would think with a stem cell. Because of that, Dr. Arnold Kaplan, the man that named them, wishes he could have renamed them medicinal signaling cells. But the mesenchymal stem cell name is stuck. Everybody refers to them as stem cells. That's just where we are. But when they're in your body, they are the manager. They are guiding that repair process and helping you heal with an autoimmune disease. They're interacting with the immune system, trying to reprogram it. It's kind of like hitting the factory reset button on your iPhone. You know, it's back to fresh start, good to go, good new, no virus, no problems. That's what they're trying to do to your immune system. And that's why we use such high doses so that we can affect that kind of a change. So every patient's different, this is medicine. But if it's pretty early, you catch things in good time, I'd say close to 80% of people have the results they're hoping for. Right around 15% of people will see improvement, but not 100%. And there's always that 5% or so that are just non-responders. That's just medicine. 
And those numbers change depending on the severity. Like that would be a good stat for say first degree arthritis, but somebody with bone on bone, fourth degree arthritis, it might be inverse. You might have say like a 5% chance of being one and done, maybe an 80% chance of having some improvement, but not hundred percent and 15% chance that, you know, it might not react at all. So everyone's a bit different. Every situation is different. This is why we do free consultations so that we can answer those questions and help you narrow it down. And then once we do get closer to treatment, we do the analysis. If you're doing a joint, a knee, a shoulder, an elbow, we require you do an MRI with us so we're not guessing. I want to see exactly what's going on so we can really tell you the likelihood of if we can help or not. And, you know, in some cases, you might have to tell people you're not a good candidate. There could be a bunch of osteophytes that are in the way. And unfortunately, that's not going to be worth doing treatment. I actually just had to have that conversation with a lady downstairs before this video. A large osteophyte in her hip. She's not going to be a good candidate, unfortunately. It's rare, but we'd rather be straight with people because bad news tends to travel faster than good. So we don't want to treat things that we know it's not going to make a difference. We want to see people get results from stem cells because they're going to tell other people and that's going to lead to helping more people. And if we can't help, well, being straight with people tends to, you know, help them trust us more and believe in what we do. And when they've got some other issue, we can help that. So we're always straightforward with people. We do the analysis. We want to see what's going on. And there's a lot of things we can help. It almost sounds too good to be true when you go through the website. If you go to www.dreambody.clinic, you scroll down on the homepage, you'll see all the treatments listed. There's so many different treatments, so many different protocols, and they we wouldn't have them listed if they didn't work. That's why we have them there. We've been doing this for over eight years, helping a lot of people. And if you want to learn more, we do free consultations. Just give us a call toll free at 888-704-3977. Go to the website, www.dreambody.clinic. All the info's there, treatments, prices, everything. So I'm Josh, happy to help.